this tutorial we'll create a menu bar for your application um, depending on your platform so if you're using Windows or Mac or uh, Linux the menu bar might actually look different so on um, uh, let's say a Linux machine on which I am right now I have a menu bar right on top here um, but um, let me just see if I can start that on Windows you obviously have the menu bar right here so it depends on your platform um, so we'll create a program start your your anyway any text editor um, I'll just call it app.py we'll import TK enter uh, create our window and okay so this should create our window yes So this is a basic window. Uh, then we'll have a menu bar uh, inside that window. So and uh, the menu bar should contain uh, one or more buttons. Um, so might want uh, the file button, and the help button, or edit button, or whatever button you want. Uh, typically, you have a, a file menu in a program, so not quite sure why I don't see one right now. Uh, but if we start the notepad, uh, we'd have a file menu right here. Uh, and so, to the file menu, you can add several uh, items using the add command function. Um, so, typically, we'll just add these. And let's say we also have an exit button. It's a very basic program, and um, I will need to say um, the window to use that menu. And, uh, and the menu bar should contain the file menu, so let's add that as well. Um, So now the second uh, function is actually the function call. So in this case, uh, we'll have a function that does nothing. Uh, so function doesn't have any particular function. But it's called on the press because it's just a demo. And uh, this one uh, will quit the window, the exit button. So let's just run that. And something here and now we have a menu uh, right here with four buttons and if we press exit uh, exit is called and you probably want to call different functions for these buttons so we'd have a function new file um, and you'd have a function open file some function to save um, and you'd call those on the on the press so new file it will call those functions and if we run it uh, you'll see that once we press these buttons it's ca calling those functions and of course exit will simply exit um, so it's possible to add a separator uh, to this which is simply a line in the menu so if we run it right now you'd see a line in between you might want that or you might not want that uh, depends on you simply use the add separator function and so we created a file menu and we can also create another menu for example we can create a help menu and in the same way we can add uh, buttons using add command and we add that to the 
menu bar using add cascades. So just this code, and we'd have another uh, menu here, and of course you can link to uh, to functions when it's pressed. So. Of course, this is only the skeleton code, so you'd have to, to write your own help menu and about function and save file and so on. Um, and so, if we'd run it, we th those functions are called once we run. So, start help, uh, about function, new, open, save. And exit. And there you go. You have a basic way to create uh, menus with PyQt. Let me just show you the code here.